What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with a brand new episode of the Quebec City Combat All Franchise Mode. We are almost to January 1st, and then we are going to take a look at contracts, see who wants an extension, who wants to stick around on this team. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, scroll down and hit that like button. And in this one, oh, we're starting off December 23rd at Climate Pledge Arena against the Seattle Kraken, where we are going to simulate the first period of this game, and then we're going to jump in at the beginning of the second, and hopefully this damn video doesn't turn out too long. So here we go. Stimuliate on ahead, sim affiliate game. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see how we do against Seattle in the first period. And it's 3-1, to one. Kalorn, Joseph, and Heedle, and Ned only face four shots, and Jesus, buddy, you let one of them go. I'll see you guys on the ice to start the second. So, here we go, taking on Seattle, who apparently has no goaltending whatsoever. That's 70 in goaltending. Who knows, man? Maybe it's Grubauer. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo, nice face-off win to start things off. Ghost gets it over to Manson. Let's just dump that one deep, and let's go running for it. What are you doing? Why are you putting your, your hands up? Ah, Bjorkstrand got away from me there. All right, here comes Burakovsky down for the crack in Bo. Can't get that one away from him. Very easy shot on Ned. We're going to play that. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's scary when that happens. Well, don't shoot it at your own net, you dumbass. Here we go. Up to Horvat. Horvat gets her up to Vlade. One of my faves. Could be the future captain of this team. Let's go. Out into the middle. Oh, buddy got in the way. And then Horvat tried to deflect it to nowhere. <laughs> so that's fun. Now the Kraken are coming down. Bjorkstrand's got it. They're putting pressure on us. Manson, and he gets around him. Easy save for Ned. We're going to cover that one up. We're going to stick with the number ones for another 30, 40 seconds. Justin Braun, long shot, and Ned was a little out of position. It looked like he did not know where this puck was. So, you know what? Because January 1st is coming up in, I think, like three games or something, it's January 1st, we have a long, like, Christmas break coming right now where there's, like, five or six days where we don't have any games. But uh, after that, oh, back to the point. Manson, back to Ghost, back to Moore. Moore's eating. Oh, they got Blomquist in that. All right, all right. But yeah, uh, once we get to January 1st, I can't really remember who has expiring contracts and who doesn't. So it will be interesting to jump in there and look and see if there's any extensions that uh, we're going to be giving out. I know, like, I'm pretty sure, like, UPL is expiring. Um, I'm trying to think of who else, though. I don't really know. <laughs> but here comes Calder for Seattle. You know what trophy he's going for. Here we go. Nyquist. Takes that one away. Gets it up to Trevor Moore. Quoth the damn Raven. Another one. Uh, when I posted that poll on who should be the first captain of this team, and people were like, you didn't put Trevor Moore in there, man. I think he's number two in points on our team. <laughs> he's on the second line. All right, here we go. They're trying to get it out of their own zone. we got to go with that third line now. That third line that's very young and I like very, very much. Montour gets it across to Jaden Schwartz. Another save for Nadelkovich. Boom! Get hit from behind, buddy, by Calvin DeHaan Schwartz. Gets it poked off him by Craig Smith. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, just hold that thing. Get it over to Don. And now we got it up to Matthew Joseph. Brosef gets it up. Philip Heedle. He's going to hold on to that one. We got a backhand pass to Craig Smith with a backhander on Blomqvist. And he has to be sharp. So who do we got? Philip Heedle gets it back to Kulak. Kulak through traffic. Horrible shot. All right, that's fine. We'll go with it. We got to get that fourth line out there. Matthew Joseph almost pulled it away from Geekies. A Geeky. And now Matty Beneers tries to get that one across in Ferravari is good to uh, get the interception on that one. Poke it away. It ends up back at the point. Oh, Schultz, he's got a wide open shot, but he fires it high and wide. Here we go. Keegan Colasar bringing it down the ice. We're just going to wire that one down. That's what the fourth line is for. Colin Blackwell tries to throw a hit on Schwartzy, and it's no damn good. But he's another one that I like, right? He doesn't put up a lot of points. Well, actually, I think he's doing pretty well this year, considering he's a fourth line center, and I think he's like a penalty killer. But, I mean, I do like Colin Blackwell. There we go. Faravari with a poke again. Keegan Colasar tries to take it away. Big block by uh, Martin Faravari. Inadvertently, he didn't mean to. We got to get those number ones on the ice. And here we go. Up to Kulak. Kulak to center. Stopping up. Gets it back to Faravari. Faravari loses that one, but Horvat gets it back. Back to Alex Kalorn. Here we go, baby. Turn him back. Oh, if that would have worked. <laughs> oh, what a steal by Bobo. Here we go, baby. Bo Horvat stopping up. Gets that one to Vladdy Tarasenko. Tarasenko gets across his man. Big save by Blomqvist. In the corner, Horvat's throwing hits, baby. And I heard in real life Bo Horvat could be on the trade block right now. His value's never been higher. 
Maybe he'll come to Quebec City. That was bad, and Adam Larson's going to bring that in. No problemo. Tarasenko kind of takes it away, loses it, then takes it away, then loses it, and now we're going to get it. Here we go. we got to get that second line out there. Manson stopping up. i got no one to go to. Jesus. Oh, Aberley. Big, that, was, that was an important save there for Ned. Here we go. Who do we got? Gus Nyquist. Gus Nyquist coming down the ice, and look at the wheels on this guy. Tries to get it across to Trevor Moore, who almost still gets the shot off, but it just doesn't work out. And Bjorkstrand bringing it down. Michael Backlund. Oh, my Lord, that would have been wonderful. But, geez, we got a, we got a real tired first uh, defensive pairing here. Josh Manson. Boom! Oh, that's a five. Let's go. Shane Wright. <laughs> Shane Wright versus Josh Manson in a fight. Who would you take? Oh, baby, Shane Wright actually draws first blood. Uh, we got him hooked. You're done. Boom, boom, boom. Lay down, kid. <laughs> that is so awesome. I love that. <laughs> Taking out the trash because it's garbage day. And we got ourselves a damn thumbnail. And that was his first career fight. And Josh Manson is gone from the game one of our top pairing defensemen has just been taken out of the game all right so now we've got to kill off a five minute penalty for the rest of the second period martin faravari gets it to michael mcleod who slaps that one uh oh you got brandon montour on you here we go Jaden schwartz back in his own zone he's got michael mcleod right up his keister here we go ebbs trying to get that one back in it and he dumps it all right faravari Gets that puck back around his own net, and he is just going to fling that one down the ice. So the first 40 seconds, this penalty kill has been quite easy. Oh my goodness, they are making it real, real easy for us right now. Here comes Craig Smith rushing down the ice, shorthanded with a shot. Nicely done, Philip Heedle. Oh no! <laughs> and with a minute 59 to go in the penalty kill, Philip Heedle, D-Mag with a Dipshit move takes a tripping penalty, and we have a minute 59 of for oh my god, did he ever jump? Wow, that's wild. <laughs> we have a minute 59 of killing a five on three. Bobo Horvat on the ice with the face off victory. Let's toss this thing across to Brandon Montour and just sauce it down the ice, baby. Sauce it. No, I don't want you to like be offensive. Let's go. <laughs> Or I should say offensive. Yanni Gord to Geeky. Bo Bo with a nice move. Bo or uh, Brandon Montour, sorry. Trying to bring that one into the zone. Matty Beneers. Get off this thing. Matty Beneers. Get off this thing. Matty Beneers. <laughs> Listen to me. In front of Burakovsky. That one was, I believe, deflected by Montour. I am sorry if everyone is hearing like a slight hum in the background. There is like a wood chipper and a chainsaw going off right outside my office big save by ned again he's racking him up now i mean we were we'd only faced four shots after the first period and one of them went in he has been perfect in the second period and he faced a good couple of shots uh, but i mean the other team's goaltender blomquist has kind of been hot too right so the shots now are only 22 to 17 in favor of us there have been no penalties except for what what do you mean no penalties anyway? Philip Heedle got his sixth in the first by Ka Craig Smith and Calvin DeHaan. Matthew Joseph double ditch baby by Brandon Montour and Philip Heedle. And Alex Kalorn with number seven by Vladi. I love to see it. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we try to just, you know what? Honestly, hold off the Seattle Kraken. We're still killing that five on three for 37 seconds, but then we are back to full strength. It was only a minute 59. Jared McCann, hey, get out of here. Get it to Martin Faravari. He's just going to dump it down the ice. Easy peasy, lizard squeezy. We just killed off a five-minute game misconduct plus basically two full minutes of a five-on-three, and it's like over. Schwartzy, oh, Faravari, what a great penalty killer he turned out to be. Now he's wrestling with somebody. I don't know who it is. We got that one to Montour. We're back to even strength. Get it up to Philip Heedle, and he's got some speed. Here we go. Trevor Moore on the other side. Oh, baby! <laughs> Twelfth of the year for Trevor Moore. Straight out the box. Philip Heedle gets the puck and just guns it. Puts the Jets on. Beautiful. It is four to one for Quebec City. Just got it right across. Blomfist couldn't get over in time. And Trevor Moore is one of the hottest QCC players in the 
damn universe now. Philip Heedle, 16 points on the season. We haven't quite hit the halfway point. We're at 36 games. It is game 36. And uh, if Philip Philip Heedle keeps that up or gets a little like on a little tear at some point in the season, I think he could have himself a nice 40-point year. I would be very happy with that. He's very young, so obviously we want to keep him for a long time. Now here we go. Bobo. Bobo. Big shot. It's on the back of the goaltender, and it's in as well. Ninth of the season. Blomqvist looks like he just got hit with a goddamn cannon. And, yep, natural leader or born leader is his X factor. So everyone's nice and rested. <laughs> Look at this crazy shot. It went through the legs of Burakovsky, landed on Blomqvist's back. He looked like he pulled his damn groin, but I'll take it. Adam Larson with a long bomber that just goes wide. Eberle can't control that one all that well. Trevor Moore loses it in the corner, but here comes Brenner Montour. <laughs> We're kind of a nasty team sometimes, man. Oh, Gus loses that one. Jared McCann's going to bring it back. Yanni Gord coming down on Brandon Montour. Montour to McCann, and that one hit the stick of Calvin DeHaan, and it's a 5-2 to two game now. Damn, that is a very unfortunate goal. Because it was like, yeah, he took a shot. Ned was in the right position. And it, like, hit the stick of DeHaan and deflected high. It's funny. It's very funny. Here we go. <laughs> Gus Nyquist bounces that one off a skate because D-Max dumbass. And Dmitry Kulikov gets it over to Brandon Tanev. Over to Cam Calder with a huge slap shot from the point. Quoth the Raven, Trevor Moore. Loses that one, Schwartzy Wartsy. Gets it over to Tanev. Schwartz, boom. Take a hit behind by Calvin Dawn. I like it. Don't chase him, though. Don't chase him. Oh, look at that. Jumps down for the block and blocks the pass. And Ned with a nice stop. 13-31 to go in the game. Jared McCann is a goal away from 100 in his career. Wow. Craziness. Look at the hit. <laughs> Hits are 17-5. That thing out of your own zone? No, he can't do it. Here comes Schultze. Schultze loses that one, and Brett Kulak take that back around behind your own net. I was going to throw it at Heedle, but he wasn't exactly in the right position. Here comes Smitty. Throw it over to Matthew Joseph. Up to Philip Heedle. Oh, he's still got it. Here we go, Craig Smith. Get to the net, baby. Get to the... Nah, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, he played it. Wow, that's wild. Okay, here we go. Schultze. We got to get that fourth line out there. I know it's going to be like a three-on-two, but... Faravari. Oh, I dove way too early, and I ended up sliding way out of position. Get that one up to Michael McLeod. He's got some wheels. He's got some wheels. Oh, and he's got some moves. Here we go, baby. We're going to get it to Keegan Kolasar? No, we're going to take the shot. Here we go. Kolasar, back to the point. Kulak over to his partner, Martin Faravari, who holds it and walks right in. And oh, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. A third-pairing defenseman just undressed the entire Seattle Kraken team and makes it 6-2. to two. Look at that. What a roofer. What a snape. Look at this kid go to work. Number 43. You want to be captain next year? Jesus. Cam Calder just shoots. That's all he does. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. I think that's going to be an icing. They might wave it off. They waved it off. Okay. Here we go. Larson gets it to Gord. Punk in. Gets it to Calder. Calder is trying to figure out what he wants to do with it. I think you want to back up and take a slap shot. What a save! Oh, Ned, you beautiful bastard. All right, here we go. Ghost, we got to get this thing out of here. Get it up to, quote, the Raven Trevor Moore. Up to Gus Nyquist. Nyquist gets it to Backland, but I was a little, I was in too deep. Michael Backland with the shot. That one's up in the air. And, hey, Gus Nyquist got interfered with hardcore. Nah, he kind of touched the puck, so I guess I can't say that. Here comes Pumpkin. Over to Jared McCain. Calvin DeHaan gets it up to Trevor Moore. Trevor Moore, just going to take it, baby. Now we're going for Nyquist. Right in front, take the shot. Blomqvist looked like he was about to fumble that one a little bit. And let's go third line. Get that one back to Montour. Hold the zone. He does. Monty. Big shot just wide. Damn. All right. We got to get that third pairing on there. I trust Philip Hedl to stop Dmitry Kulikov. Same with Matthew Joseph. Very useful forward. Take that hit. Right out in front. Bjorkstrand with a little shot. Ned makes the save. Get it to Faravari. Yep. We're getting real late in this game right now. There's not a lot of... Oh, Brad Kulak, what are you doing? I've been singing your praises ever since you frickin' got into the lineup on this team. You're like a half a point a game player. Just unbelievably good. Ooh, that third line is dead. Oh, see, you couldn't even lift the puck up. His frickin' arms are so tight. Can't even get off the ice. What an idiot. Jesus. All right, here we go. Barabari. 
They got a shot off. It was Burakovsky. Nice save by Ned. And now McLeod is taking it out. Oh, my goodness. No, oh, he got absolutely smooshed. And Russell gets it up to Schultz. And now Seattle's going to put the pressure on again in the final minute. Oh, beautiful play by Blackwell. Kulak gets it back. Up to Blackwell. Here we go. I got Keegan Colasar with me. No, I'm going to back it off to McLeod and take the shot. I said to pass to Colasar, but it actually passed backwards to McLeod. We're going to go with the number ones for the final 34 seconds. Just looking for anywhere to go. Ghost up to Monty. Oh, up to Tarasenko. Whoop! Ninja moves. Take the shot. No, Kalorn gets the rebound. And that one ends up going off the back of the net. Bobo, he does get back there. Here we go. Bobo. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Bo Horvat with his second of the night. And it's seven to two. We faced a ton of. See, look, everyone is rested again. Everyone on the damn team is rested again. Bobo. Oh, I love you, baby. I, if I have someone on my team with born leader as their X Factor, you are damn right I'm keeping them as long as possible because that is such a fantastic freaking X Factor, man. Especially late in the game when all your lines are dead, especially your defensive lines because you got somebody freaking ejected. Monty for the final two. Ghost tries to throw that one away. Doesn't matter. The clock expires. Seven to two victory for the Quebec City Combatant. And now let's take a look at who got the most shots and the penalties and the goals and whatnot. We outshot them 37 to 29. So Ned saving 27 out of 29. They went 0 for 2 in the power play. We did not get one. Philip Heedle with a 3.9. Look at this third period. Trevor Moore with his 12th by Heedle and Montour. Bobo with his 9th by Montour and Ghost. Uh, Faravari with his fourth by Brett Kulak and Keegan Kolasar and Bobo Horvat hits double dig as well by Alex Kalorn and Vladdy Tarasenko. So everybody looking great tonight. Let's get back to the main menu and let's simulate a couple of games. All right, so here we go. Vladdy Tarasenko still leading this team in points and I believe in, yeah, in goals too like big time so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate past both of these games and then play the san jose game on january 1st maybe take a look at some contracts we are now a 500 team as well 16 16 and i think one or three or i don't know after the first jesus ned pull your head out of your ass after the second oh my god it's four to one shots 26 to 25 for chicago and in the third oh that's ugly Ooh, that escalated quickly. All right, 7-1 to one victory <laughs> for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Not great. And in goals, Trevor Moore gets the lone goal for us because, of course, he does. It's his 13th. He gets it by Gus Nyquist and Michael Backlund. Kane has 27? <laughs> what an animal. Oh, God. All right, so we got to go put UPL in the net. Oh, December 28th. We're so close to January 1st. So let's go put UPL in the net for this next one. Ned, God, you had such a good game. We also got to change up our AHL goaltenders as well. Now let's simulate through the Philadelphia Flyers game where they are struggling so bad. They're 2-8 and eight in their last 10, 15-19-1 on the season. Yeah, we are now 16-17 and 4, not 1, you Dumbass, let's go. First period against the Philly Flyers. It is one to nothing. Philip Heedle, my guy, on Catahat. And in the second, boom, two nothing. Trevor Moore, 14th of the year. We're getting outshot 27 to 24. And in the third, we got a joke 40 to 33. And Tarasenko puts a power play goal past Carter Hart for a three nothing win. UPL with a goddamn shutout. I love to see it. All right. Philip Heedle with his 7th by Craig Smith. Trevor Moore with his 14th by Montour and Backland. And Tarasenko with number 17 by Alex Kalorn. You love to see it, baby. So next we got to take on the San Jose Sharks. What we're going to do is we're going to simulate the first and second period. And oh no, Calvin DeHanzo till January 2nd. He's going to miss one game. Jesus, one game. Do we even have anyone? Like Fervari, he's 81. So he can be that second pairing guy, but we do not have any scratch defensemen. You know what? Screw it. Put Duhame in there. Yeah, substitute in all lines. Brandon Duhame, <laughs> right winger. Pretty sure he's a two-way forward anyway. His defense is not great. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go with it. This team sucks anyway. Even though we just got a 3-0 win over the Philadelphia Flyers. 
we now take on the also struggling uh, San Jose Sharks. T- Timothy Lilligren is available, but I don't know when. It's the fourth. Come on. <laughs> I'm not putting him back in the lineup with back spasms like four days early. <laughs> All right. So we just got to kind of go with it. Yeah, I know. Calvin DeHaan, he comes back tomorrow. He can play in the Dallas game. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate periods one and two. We're going to dive into the third. And we're going to hopefully win a game here. All right. So taking on San Jose after one. It's one nothing San Jose. UPL lets one in on nine shots. Not that bad. In the second period. Oh, it's bad. Alex Kalorn gets one for us, but 16 shots and four goals against. 75% save percentage. Not good enough. See you on the ice. All right. So we're down four to one against San Jose, trying to bring ourselves back into this game. Push for offense. Yeah, obviously. We haven't really, seems like we haven't really had a whole lot of that. Oh, damn it. I bit. I didn't mean to do that. Jesus. My finger twitched and freaking bit on that what was that guy's name Nyaz Nyazev something like that Manson back in the lineup after being ejected from the last game that we jumped into Barbna Narbnov for San Jose Ooh, almost threw a hit on Vladdy Tarasenko who's kind of splitting the D here we're all the way down what a freaking goal for Vlad Tarasenko right off the bat it's number 18 oh my that is fantabliocious my friends 18th of the year, Vlad Tarasenko very well, maybe a 40 goal scorer this year. Eric Carlson runs into his own goal post. All right, here we go. Kalorn. Oh, what a pass. <laughs> the desperation pass right in front. It's Vladdy Tarasenko does it again, baby. It's a one goal game. <laughs> oh my God, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> Second of the night, 19th of the year. Could we get him to 20 goals right now? Look at this. Bobo throws it on net. It was a good toe save, but it flew right in front to Vladdy, who was on the other side of the net. And now Bobo's got 28 points, but it is the Vlad and Trevor Moore show this year. Awesome. All right. Michael Backlund throws a big hit, but then Trevor Moore takes a big hit. We got to change this defensive pairing. And that is a good way to get that started. All right. Trevor Moore whips it behind the net. Josh Manson's going to stick around for a minute just to make sure we get it out of the zone. And there's Martin Faravari playing in his top four debut, I believe. Tries to get that one across. It's loose. It's loose. Gus, take it back. All right. Trevor Moore. Uh, I was <laughs> D-Max good for those standstill friggin' snipes. You know what I mean? Wait for them to kind of like swell on you. Take a shot and just hope for the best. Here we go. Back around behind the net. Faravari. He's got Matthew Joseph way up the ice. What a feed. In front, stopping up. No, doesn't make it. Across to Philip Heedle, and here comes Lindblom. Lindblom, lose this thing. Oh, baby. We just keep stealing it back. They're, like, not even getting shots. Monty, back in the corner, tie him up. He's going to kick it that way, and Matthew Joseph picks it up. Here we go, Faravari. No, it hit a skate, damn it. Nico Sturm, that's his name, right? <laughs> it's something like Mark. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Nico Sturm. <laughs> That's one of those ones. I got a comment like two days ago. They're like, oh, it's impressive how you remember so many NHL players' names. And then it's like, I'll screw one up so royally. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I'm positive it's Nico Sturm. Why am I still talking about Nico Sturm? <laughs> Ghost over to Trevor Moore. Back to Ghost. Throw it on the net. Ooh, that one hit something in front, and it went out of play. 11.04 to go in the game. We went from being down 4-1 to at the beginning of this period to it being a one-goal game. Like, that's pretty fantastic. If we could just keep going, we're the comeback kings, baby. That's what we do. Like I said, we're like the Florida Panthers of last year and two years ago and every other year that's ever existed where they're terrible, they're terrible, they're terrible, and in the third period, they just turn it on big deflection by Alex Kalorn, and Matt Benning is going to be able to get that one down the ice. Minute 10 to go on the power play. We got time. Let's go, Vladdy. Get it up to Kalorn. Killer. Here we go, killer. <laughs> oh, he's still got it. Here we go. Get it up to Bo Horvat, entering the zone. Bobo, stopping up. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, we got to get those number twos out, man. Manson gets that one up to Horvat. That one ends up going off a skate. We're deep in the zone. Vlasic turns it around, though. And here's Timo Meyer. Timo Meyer. Come on, killer. You got to reach for that, buddy. Vladdy, don't you dare. 
Somebody move forward. <laughs> All right, Bobo. We're just looking for anywhere to go. Oh, my God. That's so not what I just said to do. And the stupid poke check slows you down. Oh, baby. What a defensive play by Josh Manson. I thought he was going to shoot. <laughs> Timo Meyer. Who's it? Back to the point. Simic. Oh, wow. I almost actually got that shot blocked. That would have been nice. Kick that one back around the net. Here comes Josh Manson. Just throws it around the net to Alex Kalorn. Here comes Killer, baby. Get around your man. He's big. He's big. That was supposed to go around the net, and it didn't work. <laughs> it was redonkulous. Here comes Timo Meyer again for San Jose through the neutral zone into our defensive zone, and go. He has, like, all the time in the world. UPL looked like he didn't know what hockey was when he was trying to make that glove save, but luckily it went wide. You got, yeah, you got Filipino on you. Gets that pass across to Nizov. Knizeburb. Weatherby. Oh, my God, Lindblom with a, a freaking amazing rebound chance. Can't get the shot on net. Monty, kick it. Yeah, kick it before Heedle gets it because he will immediately lose it. So Craig Smith getting around his own net. Minute and a half to go in this one. Up to Philip Heedle. Philip Heedle. Oh, couldn't quite get it in the zone. That was almost offside. Matthew Joseph has Knegs Godav on him. And here we go. Can I not need Nijov? Nijov. <laughs> still trying. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm still trying. Here we go. Bobo pull goalie. Uh, that one ends up going behind the net. Oh, Kalorn, wide open in front, baby. Second goal of the night. And we got a tie game in like the final minute. There's 41 seconds to go in this game. And Alex Kalorn being the hero. Look at this. Just gets in position. And Buddy can't get back in time. Logan Couture looked like he just tried to cut Bo Horvat's head off with a goddamn axe. So in the next 41 seconds, we could be going to OT, baby. And now Kulak fires it on net. I didn't mean to do that, but that's cool. And Matt Benning gets it to Ferraro, up to Willie Eklund. Eklund can't get it in the zone. Just knock. Yeah, just stop them. Stop them. Duhaime's the only defender back, and he's a goddamn winger. Holy. So we're going to OT here in this one. Bo Horvat shoots that one off the freaking off the side of the net. It takes a lucky bounce for us. The shot's. 31 to 23 in favor of us. We're 0 for 3 on the power play. They are 1 for 3, which I'm not happy about. We're out hitting them significantly. But look at the game for Tarasenko. Kalorin got, got his 8th by Bo Horvat. And in the third period, Tarasenko got his 18th and then his 19th by Bo Horvat and Alex Kalorin. And then Alex Kalorin gets number 9 by Vladdy Tarasenko and Bo Bo Horvat. So let's take them down in the overtime and be the comeback kings. So, put five minutes on the clock. I just went into a bit of a coughing fit. Don't think I'm actually over it. My voice just died on me real, real bad. But uh, my lines are all messed up because my wingers are my centers for some reason. Here we go. Whatever. It is what it is. Vladdy Tarasenko gets it to Josh Manson. Up to Bobo Horvat, who loses it to Eric Carlson. Now, Tomas Hurdle gets it back to Timo Meyer in the zone. Bobo Horvat takes that one away nicely. It gets all the way to Vlad Tarasenko. Manson takes the hit before getting that one. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, gets the freaking cross creaser, but it's no good. Back to Horvat, hold the zone. Oh, oh, damn. I was gonna say, how did that stay in, man? Alex Kalorin back to Backlin and he loses it and Barabanov's gonna bring it back down the ice. Oh, I tried to poke check there. That could have been a trip. Nice save, gotta play it. It's OT, man, no whistles. No whistles, Kalorin up to Michael Backlin. Backland, back hit. Oh my God, that went! <laughs> That's a hat trick for Alex Kalorn, baby. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's do a little half piv there. See if we can fake him out. And it worked. The one-timer over to Alex Kalorn, and he puts it home. Great win, boys. Great win. UPL didn't have a very good game. <laughs> Oh, man, but I'm sure we're probably going back to net after this anyway. I might leave UPL in for one more game. These guys are basically a tandem. They're kind of sharing the net, you know what I mean? Like, I think one has, like, 24 starts or something. The other has, like, friggin' 19 or something. 
Alex Kalorn with a massive four-point night gets his 10th of the year for the hat trick by Michael Backlund and Brandon Montour. All guys that I like except Kalorn, who I don't. See you at the menu where we're going to sim the next game. It is January 1st. All righty. So, whoops. We're going to go to edit lines real quick here now that we are back at the main menu. Go to defense. Put Faravari back down there. And I am going to put Calvin DeHaan in because he is going to be fully healed. That minus three is not accurate. This game's terrible. Oh, man. Take it. Ooh, the next team we got to take on is a very strong Dallas Stars team. But let's see, now that it's January 1st, who is expiring. We got Backlund, Lilligren, Smith, Blackwell, Duhame, Kapovian. Okay, those guys are AHL guys. That's fine. But Michael Backlund, he's 33. But, he, it, it, but he's a very effective player. So I'm like, I, I would kind of like to keep... Oh, yeah, look at that. Two years, two and three quarters. I could probably get him for like 2.6, two, 2.5. Two, you know what I mean? I, I'm kind of fine with that contract. You, you put him on the third line. He's getting older. Very effective penalty killer. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you offer that contract, man. Two years. Yeah. He'll be 35. And then he's gone. Let's see about goalies. Yeah, they're both. Oh, that's Ingram. Yeah. Uh, UPL's expiring. He's only 23 and he has elite potential. He's probably going to want to get paid because he has played a lot of games and he's kind of been the better goaltender. <laughs> yeah, two years. 3.325. Uh, and he's still an RFA after, he's a UFA after three years, RFA after two. So I think, honestly, I'm not overly upset about that either. 3.2 for two years, he's probably going to take over the net next year. And I believe we have a goalie prospect anyway. Ingram, I'm not going to worry about. So now, let's just get to the Dallas Stars game, which is going to be a very hard one. I'm going to go back to edit lines. And we are going to put Ned in the net. <laughs> up against Dallas. I mean, oh my God, they're 21, 12, and 5. They're 8, 1, and 1 in their last 10, but we're 7 and 3. We've been playing good lately. You know, the people that you need to play good have been playing very good lately. So let's just see if our luck can continue against the Stars. First period. Oh, 2 to 1. Oh, Craig Smith scores for us. 12 to 9 are the shots for us. And Jesus, it's 4 to 2 after 2. He's let in 4 goals on 20 goddamn shots. And it remained 4-2. to two. We outshot them 33-27. to 27, But we weren't able to quash the Stars. Craig Smith got number 6 by Matthew Joseph and Josh Manson. And then late in the second period, Craig Smith gets the final goal of the game. It's number 7 by Brett Kulak. Yet a flip again. Timothy Lilligren has like 3 points this year. Kulak has played like 13 games and he has like 7 points. It's Redonclius. So we'll go back to edit lines again. Man, uh, I forgot to uh, change the AHL goaltenders back after those back-to-backs. We're going to stick with Ned, and we're going to take on the Boston Bruins, baby. Michael Backlund, it was an easy decision. And same with UPL. Those guys are now locked down for two years apiece. Oh. All right, so let's get into the final game of this video against the Boston Bruins, where we are going to sim the first and second period, jump into the third, and hopefully we get ourselves a win against a very good team. After one, we're up two to one. I like it. Craig Smith and Matthew Joseph getting them past Jeremy Swayman. Shots are pretty even, and it's still two to one after two. We're getting an outshot, but we're getting goaltending. I'll see you on the ice. All right, so going up against a team that is substantially better than us. Well, I suppose not really. They're better They're better than us one in offense, one in defense, but they're better than us three in goaltending. So we got Alex Nedeljkovic in the net, as far as I remember. Here we go. Vlad Tarasenko to start things off in the third period. We're going to get that one back over to Vladdy, who's looking to get his 20th goal of the season. Turn back, turn back. Get back to the point. Ghost over to Manson. Manson tries to throw a pass and gets it taken off him, and there's Taylor Hall. Holy... Oh, no. Bobo. <laughs> Bobo with a trip. I think that was behind the play. Here comes Taylor Hall. He's going to lose that one to Josh Manson, but just the wheels. Oh, he's so fast, and oh, he snuck it in. <laughs> for his ninth of the year, that did not take long for Boston to tie this game up. Not fun. Drives me bonkers. 
But it's a fun little feature. It's like you have to be way more strategic about how you enter zones and whatnot. There you go, Manson over to Ghost. Ghost up to Kalorn. Kalorn holds up, gets it to Ghost. Nicely done. Up to Horvat, who's standing still. Oh, that was bad. That was just a horrible pass. I got to get those number ones off the ice. They're dead to the world. They just, this shift has been a little bit too long. Manson's going to pick it up, get that one around the net, and we might think about putting that second pairing of defense on the ice, but we lose it. Get knocked. Wow, that was too close for comfort. Nice feed up to quote the Raven Trevor Moore, who's getting himself into the zone, just trying to avoid a hit. We're going to whip that one around the net, and Backlund can't get there, but boom! He does stand up his man. There's Morsey again. Gets it back to Josh Manson. Whips it at the net. No, he was unable to get the uh, deflection on that one. And now we got a dead top pairing getting off the ice. But Trevor Moore does the does some great work with that poke check. And here comes Montour with a good shot and a save by Jeremy Swayman. Here comes Grizzlick down the ice. We're already seven minutes into this period. Is he going to go for that cross pass? Apparently not, and he almost gets it to his man in front of the net. But again, Brandon Montour looking really solid. Here we go, Matthew Joseph into the zone. Oh, God, I cannot even explain to you guys how good it feels to be able to speak. <laughs> Back to Monty. Low shot on net. Well, through traffic, and it just doesn't make it through. All right, Charlie Coyle. I got, it feels like there's snow coming into my office right now. We're in the middle of a flipping storm <laughs> while I'm recording this. Last game of the video. Here we go. Philip Heedle just going to dump that one deep. Get the get out of the way. Get those fourth liners on the ice. Uh, Keegan Colasar. And there we got Colin Blackwell. Studnika comes up on him. Gets it knocked off of him. Let's go. Let's go. Blackwell gets that one back to Michael McLeod. Michael McLeod tries to sneak his way in and can't do it. And Jack Studnika is going to get that one out of his own zone. And he's going to hit. What is that? Trevor Lewis. Uh, here we go. Kulak. I like Kulak. He's been, like, crazy effective since he joined this team, and Keegan Kolasar picks it up. Oh, stopping up, stopping up. Tries to get the shot through traffic. It doesn't work, and Adam Goddard. Tarasenko gets himself right out in front. DX out the goalie, but no. Swayman ended up getting there, and now he's going to cover this puck up. And, yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to leave the number ones on just for a, just a little bit longer. I know they had an absurdly long first shift in this third period, but that's like, I, I don't know, I, I, I feel good when they're out there. Oh, I bet. Jesus, I'm getting bad for that. Jittery fingers, man. All right, Ghost has Hall coming in on him. Into the Ozone, nice stop by Ned. Again, like I said, we are getting, technically this is a quality start for Alex Nedeljkovic. And here comes Kalorn, tries to get the shot off, gets roughed up behind the net, is able to hold on to it, though. I got Vladdy on the other side, but I just can't get to him. Goes, oh, deflected a little bit by Tarasenko. Thought maybe we could go five hole on that. And Hampy Wampy gets it up to Chuck McAvoy to friggin' Taylor Hall over to Marshawn. Back to Taylor Hall and another big save by Ned. Now it's time to go for the number twos on every single account. Finds McAvoy. We got him tied up. He's going to kick that one to Kessel. Kessel loses it. Oh, and yeah, and then I lost it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pavel Zaka coming down on uh, Calvin Dahan. A word salad for a minute there. Zaka with a nice shot. Shoulder save by Ned. Oh, in front again. Look at that. Easiest snag in the world. Gets it out to Gus Nyquist, who whips it back around behind his own net. Morsey up to Montour. Montour, the defenseman in the rush. I don't mind it. Gets it across to Backland, and he can't hold the damn thing. Uh, so uh, the Bruins are rushing in again. Can't get the shot through. Monty with a little block on that one. We're going to get it over to Michael Backland as we get... That third line on the ice, it is starting to look like we might we might be going to OT in this one. Filthy Phil gets it up to Grizzly, up to DeBrusque. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right, he's getting roughed up. Nice shot. Nice stop by Alex Nedeljkovic. And a delayed penalty against the Bruins. So with 2.37 left, we are going to the power play. It's Jake DeBrusque. So after a successful clear, oh my god, I should have just went to the guy straight ahead. <laughs> I'm such an imbs. What? Four on four? Oh, who did we just lose for a slash? Vladdy. Damn it. Jesus. Not the guy. Not the guy you want to not have on the ice. <laughs> All right, so we got Nyquist, Heedle, Faravari, and Montour on this four on four. I don't mind that, but... I would rather have a center at center. I really do have to do something about those lines. 
All right, boy, well, uh, you know what? Frustration, man. Gripping that controller too tight, I tell you. We're gripping our sticks too tight in this game right now. Out of frustration, T. Halsey. He's got some moves, but can't do anything with him. Gus Nyquist back to Monty. Monty whips that one over to Faravari. Back to Nyquist, who holds it. We got Philip Heedle on the other side, who can't get the one-timer off. Gets the pass up to Bo Horvat. Horvat in the zone. Stopping up. Nobody's open. <laughs> and Marshawn is going to steal that one away. And now the uh, Boston Bruins get a very short power play here at the very end of the game. What's Halsey doing with it? Gets it to Castle, gets it to Zach. I thought someone was going to shoot there, so I jump, jump down for a dive block. That one takes a crazy bounce. And with 20 seconds left, now we're fighting for our lives here. Ned's holding us in this thing. Shot handed. Zaka, jump down. That's another one blocked. Manson's rushing, and Tarasenko gets it straight out of the box. Back to Manson. Back to Tarasenko. Hold on to it. We're running out of time here. We're running out of time. Round the net, round the net, round the net, round the net, round the net. Tarasenko. Oh, nice. Glove save by Jeremy Swayman with half a second to go in the game. So here it is. We have been better than them on the faceoffs. It doesn't matter win or lose. There's not enough time to do anything at the end of this game. So we're going to OT in the third and final game of this video. Ned was very... That was a weak goal you gotta have that but the final shots are 29 to 24 in regulation for boston they went 0 for 4 on the power play we went 0 for 1 jesus but matthew joseph got his 11th by josh manson and craig smith craig smith got his 8th by matthew joseph and shane goss despair so that third line was pretty strong for us in this one so put five minutes back on the clock for sudden death overtime as Teres. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I got to fix that, man. As Tarasenko takes the draw and wins it against Brad Marchand. All right, here we go. In the zone. What are we doing? Back off. Get it to Manson. Take the shot. That was a huge blocker save by Jeremy Swayman, who ends up throwing that one right up into the netting. Damn. All right, so... Tarasenko got that face-off win once. Let's see if he can do it again. No, he cannot. All right. Chuck McAvoy <laughs> taking that one out of his own zone. Tarasenko kind of fell behind a little bit. Oh, Manson got out of position. Uh-oh. I thought that was a penalty for a minute. And here we go. Josh Manson rushing down the ice. Oh, look at the wheels on Manson right now. Gets it across to Tarasenko who fumbles it and can't get the shot off. And here comes Marchand again down the ice towards our net. Gets it over to Pasta. Pasta, right in front. Oh, what a shot. Damn it. 18th of the year for David Pasternak, who ends it in overtime. The Bruins win. But, it, you know, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Damn. All right, I'll see you back at the menu. We'll look at some stats. All right, so here we are back at the menu. Uh, before we do the stats, we got another game that we got to simulate. We are 18, 18, and 5. Currently, I believe, 6th in our division. So nowhere near a playoff spot as far as I know. And here we go. The final, final one of the episode up against Columbus Blue Jackets. And we're down 2-1 to one in the first. Damn. But Michael Backlund got one for us in the second. Down 3-1. to one. Jack Roslovic gets it. Three goals and 21 shots. Come on, Ned. Oh, Ned. <laughs> oh, oh. He allowed four goals on 30 shots. <laughs> it's not great. My goodness. Craig Anderson for Columbus looked great, though. Michael Backlund got his 12th of the year by Vlad Tarasenko and Josh Manson. Matthew Joseph got his 12th of the year by Philip Heedle and Craig Smith. So those are the only two goals that we ended up getting in this one. Oh, man. And Vladdy still doesn't have that 20th goal of the season. He was on a pace for like for like 40 goals, and now he's on a pace for like 37 or something, or 38, I don't know, something like that. I think we're going to go with UPL for a bit. All righty, so let's take a look at some stats, the 18, 19, and 5. Quebec City combat. Oh, Vladdy leading the way with 40 points. Trevor Moore in second with 33. So he's on like a 64 point pace. Bobo with 29. Not looking too bad. Gus, he's looking decent. 
Killer, he had a horrible start, and he's starting to come out of it now. Matthew Joseph, a surprising guy, could get close to 50 points on that third line. Michael Backlund's kind of the same on pace for, wow, 45, 46 points. Craig Smith has been pretty good as a depth guy. Josh Manson, 19 points. I'm totally satisfied with that. Philip Heedle, expect a little more out of him, but it's fine. I like him. Ghost, 18 points after a really strong start. He's gone cold. Monty, I like the production from Montour, but I really like Montour. Uh, Colin Blackwell for the fourth line. Michael McLeod for the fourth line. And Calvin DeHaan, that's kind of a surprising one. Keegan Colasar, I figure he had more points than that. And Martin Farivari, more goals than assists. Brett Kulak, look at this guy, six points in 15 games on third pairing. Timothy Lilligren is four points in 32. Brandon Duhame was a defenseman for one game. <laughs> Ned now of oh, 10, 12, and 3 with an 896 and a 3.44 goals against average. In 25 games, UPL has been the better goaltender at a 7, 8, and 2 record, 913 save percentage, and a 2.70 goals against average. So Ned starting to get back, oops, starting to get back into the unplayable category again. Let's look at the entire league where Philip Forsberg is leading the parade with 52 points, tied with Elias Lindholm, who has actually played less games, Marshawn Cooch. Matthews, 27 goals on pace for more than 50. Tavo, we got Patty Kane. Yeah, oh my God, 29 goals. It's unreal. <laughs> Pasta, Scheif, Stammer, Debrink had all the usual suspects, right? Huberdo, except for McDavid, I don't think has come up yet. Braden Point, Matty Kachuk, Artemi Panarin, Anders Lee, Mangiapani, uh, Patches, Claude Giroux, Ovi, of course, Nate McKinnon, and Vlad. Okay, yeah. I want to look for McDavid, though. Like, what is going on? Did he get hurt? He didn't. He never missed a game. He only has 38 points. <laughs> oh, what a bad season. Jesus, McDavid fell off. All right, well, that's going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.